Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here's some information about online seminars and study manuals for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. You are given uh, a random variable x with probability density function f sub x of x equal to x times e to the minus x for x greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. The density is 0 otherwise. Find the first and the second moment of this probability distribution. There are really a couple of ways to do this. You can just try to do the calculations. But it's very useful to know, and you really should know, the definition of the gamma function when you take the test. Gamma of r is equal to the integral from 0 to plus infinity of x to the power r minus 1 e to the minus x dx um, for um, a real number r other than uh, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. And you should know that for natural numbers n equal to 1, 2, and so on, gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. And note that 1 factorial, or 1, is gamma of 2. This shows that the function given is PDF. And e of x is equal to the integral from 0 to plus infinity of x times x e to the minus x dx. So it's the integral from 0 to plus infinity of x squared e to the minus x dx. That's gamma of 3, and that's 2 factorial, so it's 2. And e of x squared is the integral from 0 to plus infinity of x squared times x times e to the minus x dx. That's the integral from 0 to plus infinity of x cubed e to the minus x dx, so that's gamma of 4, and that's 3 factorial, and so it's 6, and so the answer is 2 and 6, that's enter answer E. Uh, please remember this is uh, copyrighted material, the problem was created by me and the solution is mine, all rights reserved, reproduction in whole or in part, without express written permission from the author is strictly prohibited. 